Now what we want to do is create a moderate password. So a moderate password is going to include the same lowercase letters that we can choose from, but we're also going to add the uppercase letters so that we can add in more options to make it more difficult for a hacker to figure out what your password is. So on the left side, at the end of your code, I'm going to hit enter twice just to separate these two sections. And now what I want to do is create a password two. So I'm going to type in password two as my variable. And again, we're going to set it as an empty password. So apostrophe, apostrophe, no spaces or anything in between. And you're going to hit enter. Just like before, we're going to set up another variable, this time called uppercase. And we're going to set it equal to all of the uppercase letters of the alphabet. So I'm put in a so I'm going to put in an apostrophe and then type in my alphabet with all uppercase letters. And then close it off with another apostrophe. And now you have a list of just uppercase letters. Now, what's going to make this moderate password a little bit harder to guess is we're going to be able to choose from the lowercase list and the uppercase list from all of our different options for our password. So go ahead and hit enter after you finish your uppercase list and added that apostrophe at the end. We're going to do the same thing as our weak password, where we're going to use a for loop again. We can reuse the i variable again. This is going to be counting up how many digits we've already added. And we're going to use the range again. So in range, int length. And don't forget the two parentheses at the end and the colon, because we want our moderate password to have the same number of digits, but it's going to be a little bit more complex because we have more characters to choose from. So go ahead and hit enter. Again, Replit will indent for you. And this time, we're going to still use our rand char variable, so random character. And we're going to set it equal to the random module again using the dot choice function, so random dot choice. And in parentheses, instead of choosing from just the lowercase or just the uppercase list, we're going to type in the lowercase list, and we're going to add the uppercase list. So what this is going to do is it's going to choose from the 26 letters in the lowercase and the 26 letters from the uppercase. So now we have a wider range of options. And then make sure you close the parentheses at the end, hit enter, and we're going to build up our password to the same way that we built up our first password. So I'm just going to type in password2, and we're going to set it equal to password2 plus your rand char. So again, as you're building this up, you're taking your previous password, you're adding another character to it. And you're going to do that until you get all 10 characters. So now, once your for loop does all of this, you'll have a completed password2 using lowercase and uppercase letters. So go ahead and hit enter so we can print our moderate password. So if you hit enter and your cursor is indented, go ahead and hit backspace until you're at the beginning of this line because you don't want this code to repeat over and over again. We're going to use the print command again. But this time, in quotation marks, we're going to say that this is our moderate password. Colon and an extra space just for readability. Quotation marks. And then you're going to add, this time, your password to, and then close those parentheses. Go ahead and press Run. And now you'll get the same prompt for your input. This time I'll do 12. And I hit Enter, and it'll give you your weak password and your moderate password. So you'll see that they're both length 12, but the weak password will be limited to just lowercase letters, and your moderate password should have a mix of lowercase and uppercase. So now you can see how the moderate password is just a bit stronger than the weak password. So it'll be harder for a hacker to figure that one out.